Hi everyone, welcome to another of my live painting sessions. Um, my name is Nina Camplin and I'm holding the one today on behalf of the VC Gallery in place of their Wednesday workshops. And we're continuing with the theme of Sign of the Times. And I'm sure you've all been out and seen people wearing their, their protective masks when they've been to the supermarkets and things. So um, we're going to do a, a self-portrait um, with a mask on. Now, there are um, several ways of doing this. I did think about wearing a mask while I was doing it and looking in a mirror, but that would have caused a problem in that you probably wouldn't have been hearing what I was saying because I've had a mask in front of my mouth. And secondly, I would have had to have the mirror behind the easel and you'd be looking at the back of my head most of the time. So what I've done is I took a selfie and then I've printed this out. So this is my picture that I'm going to work from. Now I did do some um, playing around with filters and I, I've got, I got these colours come up which I really liked. So I'm going to go more with this kind of colour scheme. But what I noticed with what this filter had done, I, I did a black and white print out with um, the contrasts really zapped up. And I noticed that this has kind of transferred the shaded area so it looks like the blues on the shaded area. So I'm going to try and use these colours but go with the actual shading that's on the picture. So I've got all these as uh, references for me to look at, which I'm going to stick up around. I'm going to start off with putting in a, a background. I have ma I've roughed out um, a guide for me for where um, my, my um, portrait's going to go, but I want to kill off the, the white canvas first. So I'm going to put in a yellow ground. And now I've got the yellow ground down. And now I've decided to do, um, after doing these um, sessions with the VC Gallery with um, the Van Gogh paintings, I got really interested in using a limited palette. So I'm going with primary colours. Now mine are uh, cadmium yellow. Um, I've got a magenta here, which can be, you can use a red or any red on blue. Um, I've got magenta and cyan and cadmium yellow, so I'm going to try and stick to these. Now what I might need to do is use something darker for the dark areas because I think, I don't know if mixing these together is going to be dark enough for it. So I'm going to start off with putting in the, the lightest areas first. So I'm looking at this mask and the light is coming from this direction, so I'm going to put in the white on the mask. And because the background's still wet, it's probably going to pick up a lot of the yellow, but I'm not going to worry too much about it. So let's put this in. And there's some light areas on the hair. Now what I'm going to do, I think, is I'm going to put in a background now, so that the, the face stands forward a little bit. I'm going to make it um, more of a kind of brownie orange colour on this side. So I'm going to mix the, the cadmium yellow with a bit of the magenta. And then I'm just going to put a touch of the blue in there as well to tone it back a bit. And then on the other side, I'm going to do it more blue. So I've got a cyan here, and I'm just going to put a little bit of the magenta into it to knock it back a bit. Let's do this a bit dark, a bit more yellow in it. Now I want to get some of the skin colour in on the face. I'm going for magenta and yellow. It's a bit lighter on this side, so I'm going to let the yellow come through. Uh, 
just going to darken this side up a little bit more. I want to put the shading in on the mask now, so I'm going to make that just um, a blue colour. Tone it down with a little bit of white. I'm going to block in the hair on this side in this blue as well. really dark area around the neck here underneath the mask so I'm using the the magenta with the, the blue and there's a, another dark area in here too Okay, so that's pretty much all the um, the canvas covers now. I'm going to um, get a smaller brush and one of the most important parts of a portrait is getting the eyes in. You'll find that once you've got the eyes, it really brings it to life. I'm going to go for the deep violet. So I've got the eyes in. Now I'm going to start putting in some of the shading on the on the mask here. Now I need to start working up some more of the detail. I'm going to concentrate on getting the eyes right first of all, because once they're done, I think it'll just bring it alive. So I've gone to a smaller brush now. A bit of shading around the nose here. And there's a, there's a highlight in both of these eyes. I'm just going to put that in. Okay, now I'm going to start putting some of the hair in, I think. When you're, when you're working with colours like these, the best thing is to try not to look at the colours too much and look at the tones that you're making because you can use some um, really bright colours and you can still get quite dark tones. So I can look in, if I'm keeping the blues on this side, I can even add a little bit of the magenta to it. Go a bit more uh, kind of purpley to get in the dark areas. And then you could go in again afterwards and start adding the highlights. So again, it doesn't really matter the colours you use, but if you tone them right down. So if I go in with the, the blue, but with 
a lot of white added to it. And then we've got And then on this side, I'm going to use yellow. So I've got the basics there. I could keep working up the detail, but I don't want to just uh, stand here boring you all to death. So I hope you'll all have a go at this. Um, have a go at doing a, a self-portrait. If you haven't got a mask, um, if you can use a, a scarf or a t-shirt or something, um, it just it's a way of, a hell of a lot easier of doing a way of doing a portrait because you haven't got to worry about all your nose and mouth in the features. You're just looking at the eyes, so you can spend a lot of time concentrating on the detail on the eyes. And <clears throat> I hope if you do manage to get something done, please do load it up to the um, VC Gallery page because we'd love to see it. And I'll be with you again next week. Bye.